president here in this country, in Portland, Oregon, last week, when an American terrorist this time, he's not Muslim. Well, terrorists are never Muslims. They can't be Muslims, but they claim to be Muslims. This time he was a white terrorist, even though you notice that the media does not call a white American person a terrorist. As if the word terrorist is made and manufactured for Muslims only. If a non-Muslim, if a non-Muslim engages in a terrorist act, he's not a terrorist. He is mentally troubled. As if this word is good, this label is good for Muslims only, or those who call themselves Muslims. But in fact, the man in Oregon was a terrorist, trying to attack two Muslim girls with a knife. When three brave citizens stood up and they attempted to protect those two Muslims, they were killed. One of them was, was severely injured, but two of them died. Instantly they died as they were protecting those two Muslim girls. I offer my condolences to the family of those heroes, those fallen heroes who lost their lives as they were protecting two innocent Muslim girls in Oregon. In Oregon. And I salute those two heroes. And I say that America is still a great country. We have to say that and we have to acknowledge that fact. Yes, there are some extremists in this country. There are some white supremacists, some racists, some hate mongers in this country. But at the same time, there are many good people who are not Muslims, but good people conscientious people, people with a strong sense of justice, people who will not tolerate in, injustice being done to any innocent, regardless of the identity of the innocent and the victims. So, on your behalf and behalf of our community, I would salute those two heroes who lost their lives as they were defending two defenseless Muslim girls in the train in the state of Oregon. My dear brothers and sisters,